Welcome back to Newsmax. Now we want to circle back to our top story, and that's Attorney General Jeff Sessions and his resignation at the request of President Trump. We are joined now by former federal prosecutor and founder of Freedom Watch, Larry Klayman. Larry has been calling on President Trump to fire Jeff Sessions for a long time. Larry, great to see you again. Great to see you too, John. All right, Larry, today we heard from uh, former AG Alberto Gonzalez and former special counsel for the Clinton investigation, Ken Starr. They were talking about Sessions' replacement, his chief of staff, Matthew Whitaker, now the acting AG. Whitaker is a former U.S. attorney from Iowa, so he has the legal bona fides to hold this job down. But he's also a former CNN legal commentator, and he's commented on the Russia probe itself, and he's been critical of Mueller. He said Mueller has crossed a line in some, some instances, and we heard Michael Wilson earlier talking about the fact that Whitaker has apparently also called for a deeper investigation of Hillary Clinton. So let me ask you this question. Is there a conflict of interest here? No, there's no conflict of interest, particularly in the world of Washington, D.C., where lawyers and others don't even know the concept of conflict of interest. But there is none. He's entitled to his opinions. He's entitled to take a prosecutorial position. That's exactly what he's supposed to do. But Look, he is an establishment preacher, John, and I'm not so sure that he'll go as far as what he was pontificating on CNN or elsewhere. I hope he will. Time is overdue. The president's back is up against the wall. We now have Nancy Pelosi running the House of Representatives. Mueller's going to issue a so-called impeachment report soon. That's going to trigger impeachment. It's going to wind up with impeachment managers. They will vote out impeachment. It's going to go to the Senate. It'll be presided upon by Chief Justice John Roberts, who's hardly a Trump fan. He's a very neutral establishment Republican. It's going to be a really rough two years. And I, and I have to say, finally, is that where has no, the Larry, president's Larry, let, me, let, me, let me stop you right there. I mean, you know, Republicans picked up seats in the Senate, and you're still concerned about the outcome of an impeachment trial? I'm not concerned about the outcome. I'm concerned about what it's going to do to the country. It's going to grind the country to a halt. It's going to divert the president's attention. He won't get convicted in the Senate. But in the meantime, the affairs of state are going to seriously suffer by this. Well, something else we're hearing, too, is that Republicans say if Robert Mueller is impeded in any way, if this does anything to shut down the investigation prematurely, that House Democrats will call Mueller before a panel to testify before television cameras. What's your response to that? Oh, that's a joke. I mean, frankly, who cares? Look, you've got to admire this president, John. I mean, less than 24 hours after we gain seats, the Republicans in the Senate, he's firing Sessions. And that's the right thing to do. It's way overdue. What I was trying to say before, I'm sorry I ran on with a lot of words, is that where has the president's lawyers been? They backed him into a corner. I mean, they're like court jesters. I just wrote a column for my Newsmax blog, Clayman's Court, where I discussed this because these things should have been dealt with sooner. But now, because the House is controlled by Pelosi and Maxine Waters and Gerald Nadler and, and uh, Adam Schiff, we're in for a very rocky ride. But the president, who has guts, and I admire him, did the right thing in firing sessions today. Don't worry about At idle threats of calling Mueller up to Capitol Hill. That's ridiculous. All right. We, you know, also we heard from Senator Susan Collins. You know, she's on Twitter this afternoon saying, you know, that Robert Mueller has to be protected. This investigation has to play itself out. Uh, do you think there might actually be more resistance from Republican senators if there's any pressure applied to Mueller here? Susan Collins, obviously a, a very moderate Republican, but the Senate is a interesting place and they have a certain way of doing things and they don't necessarily like, uh, you know, the powers to be infringed on. And what do you think would happen there? I don't think you can take Susan Collins terribly seriously. I mean, she'll be up for re-election soon. She's playing that game. She, actually, she wants perhaps even to step down and run for governor of Maine. So don't worry about her. You don't need her anymore. Okay, now I've got a majority up there in the Senate that can get nominees through, whether it's the Supreme Court or lower court judges. Forget about Susan Collins as well. But yes, they're very reflexive. And that's how the Republicans got themselves into this mess, frankly, because they don't have courage. They don't do the right thing. Why is it that the House is flipped? Because House Speaker Paul Ryan for two years backstabbed on Trump and didn't produce with regard to you know actually reforming Obamacare, with regard to sealing the borders, a border wall. Yeah, they got tax reform through, but that was about it. So they were thrown out. And uh, it was people like Susan Collins that got them thrown out. All right, Larry Clayman, great to see you. Talk to you soon. God bless.